Hello my lovelies, it's Murky Meg here. Well hello, 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 and you're never going to believe this, but Meghan Markle's been merching again, and quite in spectacular style, I might add. It's quite a funny story really. So last night, page six dropped the fact that Meghan Markle steps out in camel coat and cashmere shawl in 70 degree California weather. So let's have a look, shall we? She stepped out in Montecito on Thursday the 10th, so that's two days ago. So around about 9am it was 69 degrees and it stayed constantly 69, 69. It did tip at midday at about 71 and then it stayed at 71, 71, 71. It went up to at four o'clock, peaked at 73 and then it went back down to 71. So people are saying, oh my God, it wasn't 70 degrees in, in Montecito yesterday. It was actually. And I've got that from the localconditions.com. Montecito past weather in the last 30 days, as you can see, it's there. So those people are saying it wasn't in fact 70 degrees. Yeah, it was. The reason why I'm telling you this is she stepped out in a big thick coat. Yes, big thick camel coat. Now, in the UK, we don't tend to use Fahrenheit, we use Celsius. So for those of you not au fait with Fahrenheit, it's around about 21 degrees Celsius. That here in the UK is a bloody lovely day. In fact, where I live on Thursday, we had a high of 24. So we beat Montecito. And yet I didn't wear a coat at all. I wore a sundress on Thursday. There was no need for even a cardigan. Just a nice cotton linen sundress. Just out of interest, the coat that she donned was a camel coloured $1,625 Max Mara Rispoli coat. So if the winter coat wasn't enough, she also wore a cashmere Hermes shawl that retails for $1,225. So that's a winter coat and a cashmere scarf. I'm sorry, is it summer or winter in Montecito? And then some people asked, why on earth is she wearing that? Is she merching? I don't believe she was. She's not merching her clothes. She's merching, but she's not merching her clothes. And this is the reason why I think that she's not merching her clothes, is that she has mixed various designers. She's wearing a Hermes scarf. She's wearing the Max Mira coat. She's got a Goyard bag. She's wearing a Givenchy belt. She's wearing Chanel shoes. And if you are paid by a brand, you will often only wear their brand as the only designer outfit or completely designer outfit. You don't mix your brands. You don't mix your designer outfits at all. What you're being paid for when you are being paid to promote a product is their brand, not other brands. You don't generally wear a mishmash mosh of several designers. So she's not merching her clothes. And a lot of people are wondering why on earth she's wearing a big thick coat. Well, I have a theory on this. This is just a theory. I have to add, it's my opinion. It's not true, or it could be true, but it is my theory. Now, it is widely predicted that she is on the Ozempic drug. She's shifted pounds quickly. She's dropped quite considerably. And a lot of celebs, a lot of famous people are dropping weight very, very quickly by using Ozempic. Now, for those of you who don't know, Ozempic is a weekly injection that helps lower the blood sugar by helping the pancreas make more insulin. Initially, it was for diabetics and it still is used for diabetics. But more recently, people have been using it to lose weight drastically. In fact, it's so popular that it's now running out of supply and the people that generally need it, i.e. the diabetics, are struggling to get it worldwide because so many people are now taking it for the wonder weight loss drug it's claiming to be. So the genuine people that actually need it for their health can't get it, whereas the people that are using it can. Now, if you want to use it, fair enough, fair game. But I suspect that Meghan Markle is on it. Like I said, that is my opinion. It is not fact, but she has the look of somebody who's lost a lot of weight quickly. And when you lose weight quickly, you get quite gaunt and it shows in your face. 
Also, one of the two major side effects with Ozempic is hair loss, and we've seen this previously over the last couple of months. She is, well, it's looking that her hair isn't quite as glossy as it was. And another side effect, which is a very common side effect, is called the Ozempic freeze. And that is when you are cold. It causes you to be cold. And there's a scientific fact for this, because it's reducing your blood sugar, and that could lead you to become cold. And this might be why she's wearing a coat and a scarf in 70 degree weather. But something was off with these pictures, not purely for the fact that she's just literally looked like she's vomited in designer gear and she actually doesn't give a damn, or she's wearing a big thick coat in summertime. It didn't feel right. And as always with Meghan Markle, there's always something sinister underlining. Sinister maybe is the wrong word, or just maybe cheeky, or merching, or just dodgy, quite frankly. I couldn't put my finger on it. And then I realised she was showing off her hand. Now, she normally does this when she's got her rings on, or her bracelets on, something that she can say that, aren't I wealthy, aren't I affluent, aren't I, look at my Cartier love bracelet, oh, oh, oh. She's not wearing that this time, and she's not showing it off. She's showing off her hand, but the only thing that's on there is a very simple, plain ring. And I'm thinking, okay. And then somebody pointed out on Twitter that that particular hand that she's showing all the time, that she's got raised to her face, or, you know, out of the claw, is rolled down. But the other arm on the coat isn't. And then I noticed the little blue sticker on her arm. And what she's wearing is something called Nucalm. Apparently, it's an FDA-approved clinical system designed to help your mind and body relax naturally within minutes. It helps replace caffeine, well, seeing as she's got an investment in a coffee company, that's quite funny. Helps with daily stress or anxiety. Uh, it helps when you're preparing for stressful events, exams, or when you're learning something new. Anyway, it basically, it's a system calms the brain by bringing alert beta brainwave functions down to the alpha thera ranges. What a load of gubbins. But anyway, I looked into it and it does seem a bit, mm. And we always know that she likes to show off certain things. And I believe it's my theory that she is merching Nucalm. Why on earth would you have one sleeve on your coat rolled down and then predominantly showing off that little blue sticker when it's not needed? Is somebody trying to dispel the rocky marriage rumours or is she just generally merching? Of course, big burly security guard was in tow. No children though. And Nucalm comes at a pretty penny. It's around about $30 a month. That's access to the app. And then the little things, sticky things. Actually, they're called discs. I forgot the word, they're discs. The discs are around about $80 for 20. But you know what? If it works, great. And uh, you know, you look at their website and it's a roaring success with some certain people. The military have used it. Uh, athletes have used it. But if it works for you, brilliant. But I truly believe she is merching. Either that or she's telling the world she's not all right because, hey, she's got anxiety. She's stressful. She's having trouble sleeping. These are all the things that Newcom says it helps with. So, yeah, she's merching for some stickers that calm you down. How the mighty have fallen. But isn't it interesting that Harry is getting all this exposure, well, I say all this exposure. He's getting exposure because he's in Asia at the moment with the polo tournament thingy-majiggy. And she pops up doing a pap walk trying to flog some calming stickers. Anyone would think they're in competition for attention. Before I go, I would like to say I'm really sorry I made a big booby on yesterday's video. I said the Duke and Duchess of Wales. <sighs> I was in a big tizzy yesterday and slip of the tongue of course i know it's not the duke and duchess of wales it's the prince and princess of wales but my brain had a bit of a menopause moment so please forgive me i do know they are the prince and princess of wales i was just i was just being a bit of a pillock i'd also like to give a massive shout out for those subscribers who have sent me some super thanks. Um, you've been amazing. I honestly, I put it on there a while ago. 
never expecting anybody to do anything. I didn't really make it kind of a fuss about it. I just put it on there as being part of my channel. And you lovely lot have sent me some super thanks. And I am I really am over the moon. So thank you, PJDCNTV. Thank you, Fifi Lamu. I think I said that right. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Crazy Lady. Thank you, M Cape. Thank you, Joseph Tirano. Glee841, JLT35. You sent me through quite a few. So thank you, thank you to everybody that's done this. Um, I will be naming you more regularly. I, I, I didn't actually know I was getting any, which was amazing. Um, I was a bit naive about this, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, it, it, it's amazing to feel the love and thank you. It's quite humbling, really. So I, I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I thank each and every person that views my channel, that, that, that gives me a thumbs up, that comments, or the engagement. It really, really does help the, you know, the, the subscribers. Everything helps me to continue to do this. And, and, you know, and I'm back to doing what I love doing. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to each and every one of you lovely people. So I'd love to know what you think about this i would love to know whether you think she's merching or do you just think she's kind of telling the world that she's not okay has anybody asked her if she's okay yet what about wearing the th thick coat and cashmere scarf in 70 degree weather do you think it's her just saying look at my designer look what i can afford look what i've bagged or do you think that it's down to the ozempic freezes the ozempic cold shivers could be couldn't it as always, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.